Brute force attack is one in which hackers try a large number of combinations of usernames and passwords to gain unauthorized access to a system or file. This repetitive action is like an army attacking a fort. Weak or easily guessable credentials can make this time-consuming attack successful. It is the simplest method to gain access to any site or server or anything that is password protected. These attacks are not limited to just websites and servers. Hackers also exploit them to target stolen credit card details. With stolen credit card information in hand, they only need to guess the CVV and the expiry date and which doesn't take many attempts, right? This attack involves trying every possible combination of characters until the correct password or security measure is found. It can be done manually, but hackers often use computer programs that can try millions or even billions of combinations per second. Automated scripts systematically try various character combinations until the correct password or key is found, targeting web services, email accounts or cryptographic systems. Where the attack comes from Brute force attacks can originate from anywhere on the internet. Attackers often use botnets, which is network of compromised computers, to distribute attacks across various IP addresses and avoid detection. So, attackers can deploy their automated scripts and password cracking programs on multiple computers within the botnet simultaneously. And each bot in the network carries out a portion of the attack, attempting different combinations of username and passwords. And by distributing the brute force attempts across various IP addresses and computers, the attack becomes harder to trace back to a specific source and it helps attackers evade detection by security system or intrusion detection system looking for suspicious patterns, right? So what are the password length guesses for brute force attack? So let's take an example. Suppose a password is of two characters. So how many guesses are required to crack that password? So for cracking two characters password, as per brute force attack, they need to have maximum 3844 guesses or permutations. Let's understand how. Imagine for the first character, there can be 62 combinations, 26 lowercase letters, 26 uppercase letters and 10 numbers. And for the second character also, there can be 62 combinations, 62 patterns. What are the total permutations we get is 3844. So for cracking a password of two characters, you, you need to have 3844 guesses. To understand the significance of strong and lengthy passwords, let's examine the attempts and time required to crack six and nine digit passwords. For a six-digit password, approximately 56.8 billion permutations will be required. To understand this, think of each digit in the six-digit password as a slot that can be filled with any character from the character set. And as we discussed, there are 62 characters in the set. Each slot can be filled in 62 different ways. Therefore, the total number of combination is 62 into 62, 62, 62, 62, 6 times. So that brings up to a number which is 56.8 billion permutations for cracking 6 digit password as per brute force attack, like maximum number of combinations which are required. And for cracking a 9 digit password, total number of permutations required are 13.5 quadrillion and 1 quadrillion is equal to 1000 billion. So can you imagine like only 3 digits have changed but the permutation number has grown significantly. So that's why it's always recommended to choose a lengthy password and have as many as uppercase, lowercase, special characters in the password. And hypothetically speaking, just to understand the total time required to break this password, let's take a hypothetical situation. Suppose if an attacker attempts 10,000 password combinations per second, then it would take approximately 1580 hours, which is like 65 days to crack a six digit password using brute force. So if the same attacker continues attempting 10,000 password combinations per second to crack a nine digit password using brute force, 
then it would take like 42 billion years so can you understand the significant difference in just adding three more characters into the password that's why i always choose a lengthy password use passwords that are difficult to identify as you type them and avoid repeating characters or keys which are closely together on the keyboard considering using a passphrase passphrase is a string of words because passphrases are combinations of words which makes it lengthy and they are hard to guess make your password as long as possible longer passwords are harder to guess through exhaustive combinations utilize different type of characters including numbers punctuation marks symbols upper case lower case if you add any special characters then the number of combinations the permutations which are required that significantly increases like we discussed earlier just by adding three more characters into the password the combinations required to crack the password significantly increase right and avoid using dictionary words and personal information in your password there are dictionary attacks as well where hacker will try to guess your password by putting in all the words as per the dictionary as they are in the dictionary so this is a very common type of attack implement a 30 second delay between failed authentication attempts to deter brute force attacks or enforce a account lockout policy after a number of failed attempts you can set it up to 3 or 5 as per your company policy if there is a brute force attack and if there is an account lockout then it will prevent the brute force attack and if there is a delay between failed authentication then also it is being delayed and it will help you prevent from brute force attacks right utilizing multi factor authentication for an extra layer of security and then deploying intrusion detection and prevention system to monitor and block suspicious activities last but not the least keeping your software and systems up to date to patch the non vulnerability so these are some of the precautions which you can take to prevent from brute force attacks and what we learned from this complete lesson was always choose your password which is lengthy and always use some special character so that number of combinations required to guess your password increases significantly thank you see you in the next video with another dose of learning Have a great day. Bye-bye.